Hello! First of all, happy holidays everyone. It's now after Christmas but still there's time for presents and my uh, extra present to you is this rundown on lies, damn lies and statistics. We're getting a lot of statistics about the Omicron virus and most of them are really uh, not only hysterical but obviously hysterical even to people who only watch uh, mainstream media. Now I'm going to read part, part of an article by Ambrose Evans Pritchard about Neil Ferguson's team and the Omicron statistics and I'm going to talk about Dr Anthony Fauci as well uh, because and and they're both coming up with the same ideas and I think I know the reason for it megalomania not that these people are megalomaniacs I hasten to say it's just that most people think that scientists are nerds and not very important and a bit weird and they're right I've spent my whole working life around them and believe me they're weird especially the mathematicians sorry but I know a lot of mathematicians but uh, many many physicists are second down and then you get people like epidemiologists who uh, crunch numbers so they're a bit like the um, the accountants of the academic world and, and people have very little respect for such people and they know it they just get on with what they're doing because they're nerds however when an opportunity comes along to be important to be listened to to be consulted to be the oracle to be god then some of them cannot resist the impulse to overstate the case to uh, bounce up their own uh, well reputations and profile profile that's the word okay so we've got these two men uh, Fauci and Ferguson now uh, this is probably uh, a warning to us all never employ a government scientist who has a name beginning with the letter F because F stands for a lot more than Ferguson and Fauci I think all right now I do know there have been some awful stories circulating about Dr Fauci I don't know if any of them are true if you know any of them you should look up for yourself uh, whether they uh, whether they hold any water but the ones I've heard are to do with cruelty to animals uh, dodgy deals with foreign laboratories and uh, uh, encouragement from other countries than America uh, United States uh, I mean so uh, but those are just internet gossip but they haven't given me a very good impression of Dr Fauci and that may be completely wrong I freely admit that I haven't gone into it too much because well he's not my uh, my epidemiologist but Professor Lockdown is that is Neil Ferguson and he was the one who was caught at the beginning of the lockdown when he was telling uh, that the bodies were going to be piling up in the streets and that the hospitals would be overrun and there was this sort of zombie apocalypse vision he gave and it turns out that while we were all cowering in our houses with the windows closed he was inviting his girlfriend to come across London by public transport uh, his married girlfriend from her family to his flat where uh, they enjoyed an afternoon or several hours of bliss although well I don't know anyone could have bliss in his company for several hours but yeah I mean what do I know and uh, and then she went back to her family and he didn't seem to mind that and he didn't seem to think that there was any real danger in that and indeed it didn't seem like there was so that's the hypocrisy of uh, Professor Ferguson. Now, this is what Ambrose Pritchard, uh, what was his name, Evans Pritchard says. The COVID modelers at Imperial College have begun to back down. About time too. Oh, he says about time too as well, yeah. 
Over the past few weeks, they've made extreme claims about the Omicron variant that cannot be fully justified by fundamental science, let alone by clinical observation. Now, I want to tell you something. I have a friend in Wales I was talking to only the other day, and apparently in Wales, because here we have another example of a small fish that nobody takes any notice of getting a lot of power. In this case, it's a chap called Drakeford who is running the Welsh Assembly and he's decided to lock down everything or he was talking about that and this just showed how important he was and this friend of mine said you know if they put uh, another lockdown or mask mandate or whatever it was I'm just not going to take any notice of it I'm fed up of this she said and I don't think it's right and this is a person who watches mainstream media has nothing to do with YouTube uh, she, well, not very much anyway. So you can see how this is all finally percolating into uh, pretty uninformed people's consciousness, not just COVID modelers at Imperial College. And it's not that I'm anti-vax. I keep telling people I've had the vaccinations. I believe that vaccinations are useful. I do. I do. That's my opinion. You're quite welcome to yours. Right, so, but I certainly don't believe that the draconian rules that these people are telling us we have to follow have any use whatsoever. Academic etiquette restrains direct criticism, and that's a problem with the academic world, by the way. Closed shop, don't break ranks, don't embarrass your colleagues, that sort of thing. Uh, but immunologists say privately, you know, <laughs> Uh, that Professor Neil Ferguson and his team breached a cardinal rule by inferring rates of hospitalisation, severe disease and death from waning antibodies and by extrapolating from infections that break through the first line of vaccine defence. The rest are entitled to... Que the rest, I suppose he means us are entitled to question whether they can legitimately do this and we may certainly question whether they should be putting out terrifying claims of up to 5,000 deaths a day based on antibody counts. It's bad science and I think they're being irresponsible, said Dr Clive Dix, former chairman of the UK Vaccine Task Force. Now, uh, these are some graphs. I, I, you know what? I don't take no, much notice of graphs because I know how they can be manipulated. This graph here, the delta wave, it shows this spike and then down and up and down and up again and down. But that could be over months or hours or years. Climate change graphs look the same and then you realise they're all in the past, I don't know what, 300 years or something out of the whole history of the, the Earth. Anyway, um, and I don't know who's saying this, if this is Professor Francois Ballou or uh, uh, Professor Clive Dix, but uh, what I am more worried about is a loss of trust in governments and public institutions for crying wolf. The mood is changing everywhere. Yep, and I refer back to that friend of mine in Wales. Um, Professor Ballou used to work with the Imperial team and said he understood why they had focused on neutralising antibodies. They're easy to measure and tell you how well the frontline fighters are doing against infection. But this has led to great confusion. Right, now, great confusion. Here is a nice Venn diagram that might help clear up some statistics. We have here uh, a, a large pink circle which shows all the people who've been vaccinated. Well, it's, it's a schematic of all the people who've been vaccinated. In Britain, that's about 80%. I think it may be a bit more. So that's a lot. All the, I think that's adults. Adults. Uh, so by people, I, I may not be talking about children here. And then this green circle is all the people again, probably adults, who have been unvaccinated. So there we have these two uh, populations. Now, if you look at the black circle, you'll see it says 
Uh, these, it shows the people who've been hospitalised. Now, you will see there are more people who've been vaccinated in hospital than uh, unvaccinated. But, and so you could say, oh, well, more people are in hospital who've been vaccinated. Uh, so that means don't get vaccinated, which, of course, uh, if you look at that Venn diagram, you'll see that the people who are unvaccinated are a much smaller population. So obviously there's going to be fewer of them in hospital. Right. That's the first thing. Then you've got this small black circle here in the middle, which shows the people who are in intensive care. Now, this is the interesting thing, because you get people saying, well, 200% more people are in the ICU who are not vaccinated. And indeed, here we have two here and four there. But that's two and four. That's not like when we think of 200%, uh, we think of huge populations of people. And of course, that's nonsense. And uh, you look, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people in this group and that's quite a small proportion of this population of vaccinated, and five in hospital, uh, and four of them are in the ICU, it still isn't a huge number of people. So you can say, oh, well, 50% uh, of the unvaccinated are going to uh, end up in hospital. But the unvaccinated is a small number. And the ones who end up in ICU are even smaller than that. And this 200% here is, again, a very small population. There are two pink ones to four uh, green ones. And I suppose that's where this 92% of unvaccinated people end up in the ICU. Five people and there, there are four, that is 90% are in the ICU. This really puts it into perspective. Remember that saying, there are lies, damn lies and statistics. So look, I'm not saying that means don't get vaccinated. Absolutely not. If you feel that you should do it, as I did, then you do it. But don't get frightened by these people throwing around these weird statistics. They are playing games with numbers. It was Ian Fleming. He was talking to a spy he knew who was doing very dangerous work. Or maybe it was a bomb disposal man. Anyway, it was somebody like that who obviously was in danger most of the time. And this was when he uh, was in, the, uh, in naval intelligence, Ian Fleming. And he said, he asked this man, aren't you afraid of dying? And this man said, it's not being afraid of dying. It's how you live your life that's the important thing. Happy Christmas, everyone. And Happy New Year when that comes up. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.